Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming to you guys with another Madden player creation tutorial. Per request, we are creating Walter Payton, Hall of Fame running back of the Chicago Bears in the 70s and 80s. And uh, just going to go over some quick stats like I normally do in these Madden player creation tutorials. Usually, I like to give a little bit of an introduction about the player we are creating in the video via stats and some of the accolades that player has achieved over the course of his career. So, Getting on started with Walter Payton, unbelievably, this guy was actually a member of both the 1970s and 1980s NFL All-Decade team. Uh, is top five in rushing touchdowns, rushing attempts, and rushing yards, which is pretty incredible. Uh, over the course of his 13-year career, ended up being fourth all-time in rushing touchdowns with 110. In total, in terms of uh, pure rushing yardage, Walter Payton was second all-time to, of course, Emmett Smith, which we all know from the Dallas Cowboys and also finished off his career in, in uh, Arizona. And Walter Payton ended up having 16,726 yards off of those second overall uh, or second in attempts with 3,838 trailing Emmett Smith's 4,409 rushing attempts over his 15-year career. Um, so Emmett, Emmett Smith did play two more years uh, longer than Walter Payton. And uh, yeah, as a lot of people know, Walter Payton ended up dying due to a, a cancer in his liver, basically. And that was, you know, what really immortalized him in a lot of ways because of the fact that uh, he died in such a tragic manner and, and was really, you know, remembered by a lot of people close to him. Um, ended up leading to basically bile duct cancer. He had a kind of a rare disease and, and uh, rare autoimmune liver disease, basically. And it was interesting. I was doing a little bit of research on it, and it wasn't really something that occurred very frequently in people, kind of a rare disease, and had a little bit of more frequency, apparently, uh, in upcoming years or as of recently. But uh, just a really weird thing that happened. Some people say that it occurred because of the fact that he took a lot of, or rumored that he took a lot of painkillers during his career uh, because of how much physicality he played with and how much contact he uh, went up against, but um, whatever it was, just a really tragic end to a legendary career of Walter Payton. I believe it was in 1999 in which he actually passed away, um, yeah, on November 1st, 1999, um, but it's awesome that we get to create him in Madden, and uh, this was a request from a viewer, and the pure equipment for Walter Payton isn't too crazy. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a sleeve around basically um, his upper kind of bicep area, there, he usually kind of had a sleeve around there that was a little bit lower than the bicep, but they didn't have that option in the game. Uh, the rubber pad is an option that you can go with, but it's not really as accurate as I would have liked it to have been. So I think I just ended up including a, uh, a kind of a white wristband type look um, on you know above his forearm a little bit, and you'll see that uh, white, and then two wristbands uh, on both wrists, and again the two kind of near the bicep bands uh or near the bicep bands that are both white and uh, you'll, you'll see me kind of messing around with both of those but um walter payton in terms of madden was one of the first you know players that actually got me wanting to get into uh ultimate team madden 25 walter payton was an option as a legendary running back in the game and this was unheard of for me i didn't know that you could actually play as legendary players in a video game especially madden and madden was extremely popular um, or was gaining was getting to be as popular as it is today and that's where I jumped into the game as I may have said in, in previous videos and that's what really got me into the game I, I was so uh, you know stuck in on basically getting that Walter Payton card and so focused and keyed in on that that that's how I basically jump started my whole career into both YouTube and basically Madden as a whole I really got into Madden at that point and then that obviously continued on to Madden 15 where I started making videos um, and the rest is history. So uh, Walter Payton, in a way, is kind of my introduction to Madden, Ultimate Team especially. But here we go, kind of the look that you got going. Uh, a lot of white on both the cleats and socks. Didn't have a lot of crazy shoes back then. And I kind of like that. I think it's a nice classic look with Walter Payton. Nothing too crazy on the face mask as well. You see me messing around with the elbow um, equipment right here, trying to see if there's any other options. There wasn't. And uh, basing and on his ratings, I kind of go just by my instincts and sort of what I remembered. Uh, I don't like to go straight by the book with these ratings. I like to just kind of make them up as I go along. And, and this is a biased rating uh, for Walter Payton because I think he's the greatest running back of all time. So I'm going to boost up a lot of his stats that you may or may not agree with. That's just what I think uh, about him and how great of a player he was. 
during his time, even though I wasn't uh, alive during the time he played. That's just my personal opinion on the matter, based on what I've seen, what I've researched, you know, comparing him to other running backs, uh, the situation he was in, and, you know, how good of a player he was uh, at the time. And uh, that's just my personal opinion on the matter. Um, so, again, everything is subject to opinion, and, and these ratings are no different in this situation. But things get a little bit stale, so I just keep on sending the requests through. Definitely going to be adding more players to the list. We're getting a lot of requests. Uh, Michael Vick will be coming up. Deion Sanders, Ed Reed. We got a lot of guys. Walt, uh, William the Fridge, the Refrigerator Perry was actually mentioned pretty recently. Uh, so just stay tuned for those, and I will be creating those uh, in the coming weeks. But that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You know, Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden NFL 17 content, as well as sports content as a whole. I'm trying to get some NBA 2K17 content out to you guys. I, just, I can't put my finger on what I really want to produce for you guys. Um, and the roster reviews will definitely be coming both for Madden and 2K slash NFL, you know, dot, or slash, slash NFL kind of NBA mix in there with both roster breakdowns for uh, franchises in both the NBA and NFL. Once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and yep, thanks for watching.